guys. Uh, it has been a very long time. I've been really bad about keeping up with Vlogtober, kind of just um, busy and then I forget about recording during the week. But I, the last time I even posted was when I had gotten back from the uh, Woodstock Fiber Festival last Saturday. And today is Sunday, a week later. So I thought maybe it would be time to show my haul before I uh, start winding any of my stuff. <clears throat> I just wanted to share it with you before I um, start knitting <laughs> with my new yarn, which I'm not going to really be starting anytime very, very soon, um, which I'll talk about at the end. But yeah, I just wanted to show you real quick. I, I didn't um, get a ton of stuff. Um, you know, I just didn't, which is fine. But it's the first time I've really kind of like let loose at one of these things. Like I've only gone to a few fiber fests or yarn festivals or whatever. Um, and I never really, really spend too much on them. And I, this year I felt a little bit more like, okay, you, you've been good for a really long time. So you can spend some money. And I had a whole list of things that I wanted to make or that I want to make some things that I have in mind. I didn't necessarily get yarn for those things, but at least I had some creativity in mind. Um, and yeah, so it was really exciting to be able to just go and not worry too much. I still worry about spending the money, but I don't worry too much, but I will turn the camera around and show you what I got. So first of all, this is um, from Dragon Strings. Um, that is their card. So I got this yarn and it is amazing. It's just, they, they have such an eye for color. Look at it. It's just like all these colors all like all the way through in just like one little strip. And, um, I was actually sitting at lunch and a, a bunch of the ladies sitting at the table were just like ooing and eyeing over this and they just wanted to, to me to show it. And then they kept telling me to go buy another another skein so I can make myself a sweater and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. I don't think it should be socks. I think I'm going to make a sweater out of it for myself, but, um, I'm going to, it, it has 375 yards, so it's not quite enough, but, um, I will, I'll be, I'll be able to make a sweater with some contrasting colors and I know what sweater I'm going to make. And I don't know of it offhand, but I will share it with you on the podcast. And then there was um, Leo and Roxy. I had never been to them before. And I got a couple of yarns from them because my daughter, I asked my daughter if she wanted a sweater. And she said yes. And I said, what color? And she said yellow. And this is before we even went to their booth. And she saw this, which I'm not, I didn't want this kind of yarn, but it was the only yellow that they had. And it is really pretty. Look at it. Look at that. <laughs> So here's the information on it. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, single, single ply. 100% merino, 100% <laughs> good vibes. So that's their um, proudly Canadian, Leo and Roxy Yarn Co .com. They have really, really cool stuff. And then I also got from them, I got this yarn and I figured even like these could be contrasting. I know this is single single ply but they could look okay together it's, it's for a four-year-old you know they're cu they're cute colors I want I actually was trying to convince her to just get this color because then I could um I had other yarn that I could contrast it with for a sweater for her but she really wanted the yellow so I was like you know what whatever so that is the information about it see it was on sale I believe it was only twenty dollars which is awesome so that is another vendor that I got from. And then another person just had a bunch of different um, dyers that they sell. And this is Richard DeVries um, yarn. So also, as you can see, it was on sale. But still, I mean, it's nice, nice yarn. It's like a, a nice skein. Like, look at that. I, it's The colors, I don't feel like they're showing up very true, but these are like muted colors like greens and reds and yellows but they're very muted and blues um it's so nice and it's um it's 225 yards so 
not, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. And then this is the same dyer. It's the yarns of Richard DeVries. And it's the same yardage, but it's almost like the same colors, but more jewel toned. Uh, and I really liked it. And they both, like, they both spoke to me. I am not thinking socks for any of my yarn, any of the yarn that I bought. I'm kind of like, okay, socks are something like completely different. These yarns that I bought, I want to put them in like sweaters or something like that. I'm feeling very sweatery. And this next yarn, um, I am planning on making the Om Shawl by Andrea Maori. And I saw this, it's Cascade Heritage Yarns. And they were on sale like crazy. So I, you're supposed to have four colors. Look at all my garbage in the back. You're supposed to have four colors um, in it, but I got five because the yardage. But I got these four colors. So this one is like an eggplant. It's it's not going to show up very well here. Hmm. Not really going to show up. But it's Cascade 220. And I'll probably show it more on the podcast anyway, because I'm not going to go, I only have one hand to be going through the, the ball bands right now. But that's like an eggplant color. And then this is a, um, like a, you know, like a tan coffee beige color, whatever. Then a bright green, and it's not as neon as it looks right here. And then this is a buttery yellow, and it is brighter than it looks in the video. And then this pretty much spot on, a little bit brighter, but it's like a rusty color. So I thought those would look, I wish I could get better lighting. I thought these would look really nice in the Ohm Shawl. And this one's just a mess because I was showing my husband how you wind a skein of yarn and obviously I didn't put it back to the, together very well. But um, yeah, that should look pretty good. And that's my, my little... Woodstock Fiber Fest haul. I think I did pretty good. Uh, I did damage. I mean, it's not like this stuff was cheap, but but I'm super excited to make stuff with it. I'm really excited about my Ohm shawl. I think that's probably the first thing that I am going to um, get started on. And the exciting thing about that is, even though I have to wait because I I am like at my wit's end with needles with my needles um, and I'll talk about it at another point but I'm waiting for some needles in the mail they should come this week so I'm super excited about that too and once they come I will be knitting up a storm so maybe I will talk about that in the next vlog hope everything is awesome with you and you're having an awesome October it went from summer October to like winter October it is cold outside and it's dreary sometimes sunny and the leaves are turning and it's windy and it's cold and it's warmish it's everything and I am totally enjoying it um really embracing it so yeah I'm I'm feeling pretty cozy and I'm feeling really inspired to be doing some knitting so I am off to just enjoy my night it's very quiet here tonight baby's in bed I'm just alone <laughs> And I will talk to you soon, okay? Bye.